Hello and welcome. This is Mudassir Afraz from civiltechnologyforyou.com and in this session I will talk about some of formulas like Network Days International and VLOOKUP. So these two formulas are very powerful formulas in Excel. So today we will see how we, we can use them. First formula here is Network Days International and if you want to calculate the total working days of any activity you can use this formula. So let's get started here what I will do I will just mention some like activity name activity name okay I'm giving you one example here and a, a start date of that activity start then finish of that activity finish date finish okay and then holidays in between holidays okay and now we have to calculate the total working days here okay here total working days okay so here for example activity name is brick work in super structure okay this is the activity okay and it is going to start on for example 23 of july 2018 okay it is starting on this date and it will finish on for example it is going to finish on 20 sorry 19 of August okay 2018 okay so here are some holidays I will put here just for example okay so for example 27 7 2018 is holiday okay and again one more is 14 of August that is national day okay so this one is holiday so we have to calculate the total working days of this activity for that what I will do I will insert the formula here I will go here and what I will do I will just enter equal network so this is the formula okay network days so I will double click on this one then now it is asking about the start date end date and weekend and holidays okay so I will give the data for example the start date here is 23 7 so I give this one and then comma the end date of this activity so this is the finished date then now it is asking about some of the options like when the holiday is Saturday Sunday in weekend okay Sunday Monday Sunday only Monday Tuesday Wednesday you can give any of the value here okay so I am giving here Sunday only so Sunday is the weekend so I will give this value okay then again what it is asking about it is asking about holidays okay how many holidays are there so for example these are two holidays so I will give this range and then I will close the bracket now then hit the enter so total working days for this activity is 22 days so we need 22 days to finish this activity so this is very good formula you can use them you can use it according to your need okay hope you understand this formula next formula here is VLOOKUP and this is also very strong and very powerful formula and I will give you one example here also that how can how we can use this formula for example here is the activity name and I will find out the total cost for activity through this formula here is the activity name okay you know that in real project there could be maybe thousand of activities 20,000 30,000 and there you can apply this formula this is very good formula okay here I will write only two or three activities and I I will just give you the uh, example that how we can apply this formula so that you can use it in real project so this is the activity name and here total budgeted cost or total cost okay total cost for this activity total cost okay for example here it is brickwork brickwork is one activity brick brick work then next activity for example is uh, plaster next activity is paint okay parapet wall like okay these are uh, activities for example and total cost for these activities for example I am giving randomly here the values like uh, here brick work for 50,000 okay and the plaster work for 70,000 okay and then paint work for 90,000 okay and the parapet wall is for for example maybe 30,000 okay so here are the values 
and now for example these are the uh, for example 20000 some 30000 activities and you want to uh, identify some specific activities and you need some specific activity cost for that you will use this formula what i am doing here i will just select these two columns i will copy them okay and i will paste here okay and what i will do i will just apply the formula here okay i will remove this one this cost and i need for example the cost of bricks plaster paint and parapet wall any of the name i will give here the cost will be show here okay so equal to v look up okay v look up this is the formula okay i will double click here and now what it is asking about look up value so value i will give here okay and the cost will show here okay here is the value columns then comma now it is asking about table array so table of array this is the table complete table where i will find out the values okay then now it is asking about column index number where, where which column do you access okay so the column is here i need cost here so this is the column okay i will select this one sorry uh, i will give here the name for example i i will give here the column index number so this is the column number 2 this is the column number 1 here and this is column number number 2 okay so i will give the value 2 okay this is column number 2 i need the value from here and then i will give comma and now it is asking about two or false exact match so i need exact match okay then i will give what i will just close this one and then hit enter so for brickwork what we need we need 50000 for example i am writing here plaster work okay plaster okay i will hit enter now for plaster work we need 7000 and now one more option for this is i will go into the data okay and now here is the option of data validation i will go here from validation criteria i will select list okay now it is asking about source so source is here okay now i will click on this and i will press okay now you can see that here is a drop down arrow okay you can click on this one and here all of options are here like parapet wall paint plaster any of the activity you will select the value will be here total cost is here so if here will be some 20,000 and 60,000 activities 50,000 activities this formula is very good for that okay hope you understand this session and i will see you in the next thank you and allah hafiz